Hi, I'm Genevieve Lowry and welcome back to DIY Child Life. So previously on other videos we've made teaching, we've done a lot of teaching dolls. Today I'm going to share with you one of my other passions, which is using medical equipment in non-threatening ways. So today we're going to make what, what I like to call a syringe magic wand. So we're just going to use some oil, some food coloring, a little bit of glitter and some beads. Uh, of course, our handy dandy hot glue gun. We'll need a funnel and a little bit of glycerin. So I'm gonna start off with my syringe. I take the syringe apart. I'm gonna put into the syringe a couple of beads. I'm gonna hold my a couple of beads. Some of the smaller size sequins that fit in here. Now you can use a 10, this is a 10 cc syringe. You can use a 20 cc if you wanna go a little bit bigger. It's kind of up to you and, and what you think is the right size syringe. Uh, I wouldn't go too much smaller. Now I don't have any fine glitter here at home with me because personally I can't stand stuff. So I don't have any of that in my home. So I'm using a decent amount of glitter and beads to sort of put in my, in my syringe. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to fill this with some oil without spilling it all over the place. I'm gonna pour a little bit in there. I'm gonna go slowly because I don't wanna get it too high. I don't quite fill it all the way to the top because you want to be able to put the plunger in. Make sure. All right, and then I add a couple of drops of the glycerin. And I am one-handed. I'm gonna add a couple of drops of food coloring in there as well. Just doing something very cool. And then the next thing, hmm, I need another set of hands. Uh, camera person, can you hold this for me and do the camera? Oh, hold it over here. So I'm gonna put some it's about to get wobbly. hot glue on the top of this. Helps it obviously if you have a partner. As usual, didn't always think this through. Then I'm gonna put this. on top Oop. as I put the plunger in. I think I might have lost some of my food coloring in that. And then I'm going to put the hot glue on the top to sort of seal both ends. And while that's drying, this helps, I actually do need my glasses. I'm gonna let that dry for a few minutes. And while that's drying, I wanna just show you something else that I like to do with syringes. Now this one also, you do kind of need a bigger syringe for. We all do a lot of, we all do some decent, probably a fair amount of cookies in, in the playroom or in your clinic areas where you make cookies with the kids or you bring cookies for them to decorate or something along those lines. Another way to decorate them rather than just having the frosting and tongue depressors to use to spread it around is to use syringes as your frosting dispenser. It's a little tough to get it started. There we go. It's a little tough to get it started, so you'd have to do that for the kids. But then you're able to decorate using your syringes. So those are two ways to use syringes in a fun, non-threatening, non-medical way. And we're gonna see how this sort of works itself out. Can you see it on the camera, Grace? Yeah. Thank you. My food coloring became one big glob of food coloring, but that's okay. <laughs> and there you have your magic glitter wand for kids to use. As, as their very own distraction item, or your frosting syringe as a way to decorate holiday cookies or just as a fun activity to do. So that's today's DIY Child Life. Thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.